Good morning from day one of the first competitive day of the GS Trophy. We're starting our day in Rotorua, home of the largest population of the native Maori people on New Zealand's Northern Island. You can feel the excitement in the air, not just from the competitors, but from everybody involved. Competitors today will enjoy 350 kilometers of half on-road, half off-road twisties, mountains, and rainforest. They will also contend with two stages, each designed to test both physical and mental abilities. We'll see you very soon at the first stage. The first special element is called the river crossing. Riders must maneuver their motorcycles between several sets of cones as they make it through the river and must not touch down a foot or drop their bike lest they lose a point. Each rider must cross the deep river twice, negotiate the tight cones and the deep rocks. Finally, up this steep, loose hill where the time stops. We're at the second special stage at day one of the GS Trophy 2020. It's called the Senna stage. I'm here with Mike. Mike is one of the marshals here for the GS Trophy. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about this stage? Yes, it's a, it's a very nice challenge here because we have a blindfolded rider, which has no vision at all. And we will help him or the team members help him through our parkour with the Senna device. So it's very, very nice to have communication. And uh, here, communication is essential because to guide the blindfolded rider through the parkour is otherwise not possible. This is very exciting. Let's take a look. Oh, oh, super <laughs> All the competitors have made it back safe and sound. As you can see, their tents are set up. They're heading on down to get cleaned up, on to dinner to refill their bodies, and from there to scoring to see how the teams made out for the day. Join us tomorrow for day two of the International GS Trophy 2020 in New Zealand. We have the winner for day number one of the GS Trophy 2020, Team Korea! Yeah!